The search is on for vandals who damaged the historic mystery castle. We're talking about the one that is located right at the base of South Mountain. Phoenix police say they created quite a costly mess, and now officers are looking for the culprits. Fox 10's Stephanie Bennett joins us live with the details. Stephanie. Brian and Linda, it's just tragic to see a historic landmark like this so heavily damaged and for no reason. As you can see, the police tape is still up blocking the entrance to the mystery castle. For now, the search is on for the intruders. I mean, this is criminal damage beyond. I mean, I'm heartbroken. A mystery at the Mystery Castle. Vandals stop by this historic landmark not once, not twice, but three nights this week, causing more damage with each visit. We got hit again probably Friday night. Again, no substantial damage, some rocks thrown, but last night somebody had a party here and has just destroyed the interiors. Spears says they kicked down doors, broke through windows, and left this historic landmark on South Mountain destroyed. They're estimating over $100,000 worth of extensive damage. So it's not like we can go to a hardware store and buy replacement places, pieces. I mean, it's, it's a private foundation, pub, uh, privately funded, um, so we depend on tour revenue to um, keep the foundation going and open for tours, and so this has closed us down for the immediate future. The castle dates back to the 1930s. A Seattle man moved to Phoenix after finding out he had tuberculosis. He began building the house from found or inexpensive recycled materials with the intention of giving it to his daughter. He used um, goat's milk uh, as for the mortar. Uh, in the rocks. Um, again, it's just, it's stuff that can't be replaced. I mean, it's so disheartening because it's, it's someone who decided to just come in with total disregard for someone else's property. And they were vicious about the attack. Anyone with information is asked to contact police or silent witness at 480-WITNESS. Guys, back to you.